We have now learned the Newton Grove police chief was the officer who shot a man during a confrontation yesterday. That man is accused of kidnapping and raping a woman. CBS 17's Amy Cutler remains on that story. She has the very latest now from Sampson County. Neighbors and business owners coming to the police chief's defense tonight. They tell me that Chief Gregory Warren is a good man who's done a lot for this community. The ordeal started at the Dollar General. An employee tells me a man came in and that the woman outside stopped a customer coming into the store, saying she'd been kidnapped and raped and that the man inside was holding her and had a gun. 911 was called. Investigators say Newton Grove police were responding to that call when they located the man nearby at the Sam's Circle Mart. Authorities tell me the chief, Gregory Warren, confronted him. The shooting followed. I just heard two shots and my customer he went outside and he looked over there and he's like, I'll be right back. Witnesses say the man was shot in the chest. It happened Tuesday around 2.40 in the afternoon. He was rushed to the hospital. Investigators tell me he's expected to survive. The police responded really quickly. It was scary. It was the first time that I hear that around here. Chief Warren now on administrative leave. I can say nothing but good things in reference to Gregory and the police department here in Newton Grove. Neighbors tell me the chief was born and raised in town, that he truly cares about the community. He has provided persons from the police department to work with the children, to let the children know that the policemen are their friends. This leaves the Newton Grove Police Department with two officers. The Sampson County Sheriff's Office and State Highway Patrol will be assisting as both departments investigate the shooting. When you have a job to do, you do your job. I've requested the 911 calls and the incident report connected to the shooting. I was told that information would be released tomorrow afternoon. We will continue to push for answers. In Newton Grove, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. Amy,